Good morning. Good morning from Woodside Village Studio. Um, today, um, I've clocked on 9.30 this morning. I'm really pleased with myself. Um, the hearts that I did the other day are finished, look. Um, they are now ready to be filled, perhaps with a piece of jewellery, some sweets. Don't know, really. The sky's the limit. I found a bit of this silly string, whatever you call it. But yeah, it's um, wonderful when you see a project finished. So you could put something in there. Well, they, these fasten open and close and you can actually reuse them time and time again. Obviously you'll need to take a bit more care than I have. What's caught in my bit of brown tape. So yeah. Um, and then I've been waiting for these to arrive because as you, you've probably seen before, um, I make jewellery from the paint skins. Paint skins are basically the leftover paint that um, you can peel off some substrates if you're careful. So these have arrived. I'm really excited to be um, able to get some bracelets um, made with these, aren't they? Lovely. And um, also these lovely leather woven bracelets with a little thing there. Absolutely sweet as. So I, I will be um, looking at some of my paint skins to see what goes best in these. There's quite a few to make. And then, um, of course, some, some necklaces arrived. Some plain ones. So these should go nice on, on one of these. Um, and some that have got uh, ribbons. Some that are a bit more decorative, basically. So we should be able to get some nice jewellery. Oh, those are lovely. These have got um, two strands and I think ribbon as well. So we'll see what we can make with those today. And also some more plain ones. I think some of these are square cut, like a suede. More white ones. So that's exciting for me anyway, to be able to get these products sort of to some level of finish and into my Etsy store, I'm really excited. So, um, today I just thought I'm just gonna rattle on a little bit and talk to you guys. So I did a bit of a shop the other day. I looked after my friend's dog because um, her husband was poorly and um, he was, they were struggling really to sort of give her a walk and X, Y, Z. So I looked after her for her, which was an absolute joy and you probably saw my video, she <laughs> gave me some money to, to buy some canvases, so that's great. Anyway, I also bought some other bits and pieces that I'm going to be um, crafting on. Lots of keys, and I bought this one that says, Dream, Believe, Love. So I might do a paint pour on that, I don't know yet. And I also got an amazing tissue box, like a wooden one that I'm going to be decorating on as well um, in time. For the moment, it's holding my iPad up, so I won't be doing that just yet. So, <clears throat> so over the last couple of days, since I launched my first video, I've been very busy. I've invested in a lot of books because Creating art is one thing, but actually getting yourself out there and, you know, making a living, sustainable living from art is another thing entirely. So, yeah, lots of reading, lots of studying, but that's mainly what I do anyway. When I'm look, not looking after Rue or my grandchildren, I'm studying, um, whether it's techniques or marketing or anything. And making other little things. These are key rings. Um, they have a little tassel that goes on them. They're ever so pretty. So, yeah. but I can't wait to see some of these on um, on chains. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I might 
might go and find my pliers because you need the pliers up, um, obviously to push the jump rings together and just sit and chat and pot her um, and you're free to join me, stay with me or tune in, tune up and tell it to you. I did want to see. It's not often I take the opportunity to read a book, but I picked up a book in um, Sainsbury's the other day while I was, uh, I was taking my friend shopping. So as I waited, not one to let the grass grow under my feet, I found a book to read. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Now, I don't know whether it was the dress that appealed to me, but it was actually a wonderful read. It really was good. It was about a woman who'd had seven husbands and um, she was an absolute multi-millionaireess um, and just, you know, an actress. It was great. It was a great read. It was real sort of escapism for me. So I read the whole book in the day and that, as you do. Yeah, that's my recommended reading list for this week, if you like. I better turn this music down because I'll be getting into trouble with copywriting. Let's have a look then and see at some of these colours. Oh, absolutely loads of them. I'm waiting for some wonderful business cards to come. You might be wondering why I've got this on my ear. I did a video yesterday the day or the day before and oh long hair is a massive undertaking but it just gets everywhere and th there was a hair in the painting and when you pull the hair it was about this long it drags the paint off so I decided you know what if I'm in my studio I'm having my hair tied back so you know it's not because I don't like my hair or anything else it's just sometimes a pain in the backside so these are some of the the um, necklaces that I'm going to be working on. And I've also got some paint skins um, that I'll be cutting out today. So, it looks like we've got a lot of peppermint. This, this lovely green has quite a few of those. Have I got any green? Yeah, it's green, but it's more of a pistachio green. Sorry if the that one's annoying. Should have taken them all out first, shouldn't I? So, is there anything in there that we think is going to match? What do you think? See, there's the pistachio green. That's probably okay, isn't it? What other colours have we got in there? There's a turquoise, an aqua blue. Oh, that's aqua blue. Let's see what that looks like. I'll just see if they. See if they drop in. <coughs> oh, I did also some proper chains as well. I wonder if. Oh, they're here, look. <coughs> they're so tiny. I thought they were like jump, jump rings or something. But yeah, oh my goodness, I can actually put my silver chains. Oh. Happy days. You know, little things please little minds, don't they? But yeah, this is all part of the creative. So would they look better on? Oh, it's just a nightmare getting, getting things in focus. I've, I am saving up for a camera, so um, I've been pricing them up, but I do obviously need to invest in a really good camera if I'm going to do this. Does it look better on there? No, not much better. So, yeah, a proper little necklace, which would look fabulous inside one of these. How cool is that? So, these will be on my Etsy store. Um, I'll include a link just in case anybody wants to purchase something. But yeah, oh, I'm so pleased about that. So that's, so that's one. What about that one? How pretty is that? I think that could do with a, a pink. Let's get a pink one out. These are just nice with a, a t-shirt or a, you know, a plain sweater, they're just,
I need some black that I can pick up just to hit a black velvet board somewhere. I'm just guessing on, don't worry, guys. And if you don't want to watch, just tune up. So there. Where exactly is the camera? Quite like that. So I will get those packaged. Lilac. Oh, yes, we've got lilac. Oh, the lilac looks a bit shiny. Do I want shiny? That's the lilac. Lilac and black. Should we put that on a black cord? Let's have a see. Huh. Clever clogs. Didn't, I didn't get any playing cord. Lots of bracelets there. Whoa, these look nice. Oh, love that one. Look at that. I can't wait to see what that looks like with a cabochon on it. Wow. Bling! Not that bling in a studio is very practical. But that even that's a nice one as well. That one um, is hinged. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. Um, happy days. So I am going to be, I oh, know, even a, a smaller one as well. I'm going to be sort of like doing a, a live from half past nine in the morning, maybe till half past ten, it just depends. I'm going to try and do that regularly so that, you know, I have to treat this as a business. This is my job. I need to be, I need to be out there. Turquoise. So even in terms of if that had been a, a circle, how lovely is that? Does that say love or evil? <laughs> Is it distort? I don't know. So, um, what I need to do now is go and get some glue and some skins. Back in a sec. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. So, um, Skins, leftover paint, and these are just boards that I'd bought to paint on, but I've left the plastic on, so in, in the meantime, I could actually make some pieces of jewellery, and I just bought those, ah, let's have a look, so here are the cabochons for some of the bracelets oh I you know I've come cold now so that that's a cabochon which will sit on a bracelet and the thing is with the cabochons they're very clever because they're domed I don't know if you can see this but any area that I put on the paint it kind of magnifies it so I think just to start with, I'm going to try um, and peel some paint off. I like that one. I'm, I really love these bright colours. So I'm going to make this this a couple of pieces for me that I can wear to showcase. So I've invested in um, one of these crazy craft knives with lots of different blades. I already stuck it in my finger when I was trying to get it out of the box. So I'm just going to put a little blade in and let's have a go, oh, get in, I know, okay, fair enough, don't then, no, bit fiddly to use but I'm sure I'll master it, so you have to push that blade right down, ouch, stuck there on the end of my finger there so i'm going to cut the plastic off this i clearly clearly won't be able to use it now i think i'll cut on the back and then i can still use the canvas so just tearing the plastic off carefully oh do you know what? i had such a bad day yesterday i'm absolutely exhausted when i got home i got up at half past six Left for Scarborough at half past seven. 
got to school at quarter past eight, did a full day teaching drama. <laughs> um, absolutely loved it. It was great. But it was just, it was exhausting. Um, and then I got home and had to go straight to my grandchildren, cooked them a chicken dinner. And I got home at about seven o'clock. No milk in the house. There was one little glass of milk left in the fridge. And I thought, oh, great, I can have a cup of tea. And between boiling the kettle and loading the dishwasher, my roommate had tipped the milk down the sink. He thought it had been out all day, so he tipped it down the sink. Poor bugger. He was mortified. So I was like, I was nearly crying by that time. I was. It's a tough day teaching when you're on supply because you don't have time to even go to the bathroom. It, you literally... there's. Nobody uses the staff rooms anymore either, so it's not like you can go and have a sit down in your lunch break. I had to go and sit in my car, have a sandwich. Um, I couldn't have a cup of tea. I hadn't had, had chance to pack a drink, so it was just mad, crazy mad. So this is the little bit that I'm gonna, going to use um, on my jewellery, this lovely, and as you can see, it peels off amazingly easy. And I, I, I save as many skins with colours in as I can because eventually I'm going to collage them. I mean, I, I can cut these into shapes, all shapes and flat sizes, butterflies, flowers. And I can create... Oh, I'm going to have to get a proper chair for this studio. It's a nightmare sitting on this. I can create many, many different things. So that's my plan and that's why I save them. And I save them between grease proof sheets of greaseproof paper in a flat box, like, can't reach it. It's just a, a thin A4 box like that. And um, it just enables me to be able to reuse them for little bits of jewelry. So, which, as you know, so there's the skin. As you can see, it's really pretty on that side. And it's interesting on that side. Sometimes the other sides are better. And, and that's really, really shiny because it's been on plastic. Okay, so I'm probably going to leave that one on it, on its plastic because it keeps them straight. But actually, that's a really nice area as well, isn't it? That would make a really nice heart. So I might do that. So then let's have a look what it looks like underneath the cabochon. So I'll arrange it somewhere nice. Oh, look at my chipped nails, guys. I, do you know, I had a manicure two weeks ago and uh, gel nails but I just get so much paint on them it's not worth it so I'm gonna just cut them off <laughs> so, so yes that's for that so what I'll do now is I will stick the cabochon onto the paint oh what uh, you might be able to see on that camera I don't know I don't even know if you're in focus woohoo slipping around slippery little suckers so this should have an oval one somewhere. I hope so. Otherwise, I'll have to finish these off with what I'm calling doming resin, which is a kind of resin that I set underneath a UV lamp. These have come with um, cabochons. So the others should have. I'm sure when I bought them, I, I did buy them specifically with cabochons, which is not looking like I can find them. Oh, dear. Not to worry, I'm just going to go and get a paintbrush and then I'm going to get this cabochon organised. Okay, wait. so the medium today that I'm using is I'm, I'm just using Liquitex pouring medium because I've made, that's what all these have been stuck on with and they've stuck really well. They're not going to go anywhere. It sets like, it's like a PVA glue, so... I've just got a little bit on the back of my lolly stick. I'm going to put it on the cabochon. I'm going to make sure it's fully covered. Like that. And stick it on the bit of design that I want. Like so. And then I'll just put that aside, let it dry. And when it's dry, I'll trim it down and put it in. Put it, put it up in the bracelet. 
So that's the Bidman. They come today. Oh, I'm cold now. Freezing out here in this garage. <laughs> Never mind. So that will need a jump ring. See, those don't. They're just so easy because they've got. I can't remember what that's called now. But that goes the right way. That one, however, if I were to put just a, a chain through that, it's going to look. It's going to be twisted like that because your chain goes through that way, doesn't it? So that's why I need a jump ring and my pliers. And this is the fiddly bit that my fingers don't like that we, these days. <laughs> but I absolutely refuse to be beaten. Not a chance am I going to stop doing what I like doing. Oh, I, can't, I can't find my jump rings, guys. So jump rings are these, they're just a loop, like that. So if I can get this one, that's the dustbin wagon. Now do I put a chain on that? Or a cord. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure, sure. Let's use this pistachio because it does actually match the, the paint quite well. So put both through, like so, and then all I need to do with that is nip it together. Now, normally you need two pairs of pliers. I've only got one at the moment. I give all my jewelry making stuff away because we were planning to move abroad and I was trying to minimize it's not quite straight but I'll keep working on it yeah I definitely need to invest in some pliers not happy with that if it's not exactly flush then your chain's gonna come off. So, and you need two pa you need two pairs because I need to prize that metal. Anyway, for the moment, that's that's that. Is that just beautiful or not? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna wear this one. And this is a reversible one. I, I quite liked this because it's a bit like spacey. So there's one. Slight adjustment on the chain. You can have it short or you can have it long. I can remember the days when I used to be able to do this very quickly, especially if you were getting ready to go out on a Friday night. Goodness me, these days, because I never wear jewellery anymore. I'm always painting. Could have done with just a little bit shorter, couldn't it? But is that nice or what? Okay, so what now? So we're still waiting for that. I've pressed it right down. It's actually drying lovely. So when it's totally dry. I'll take it off and have some really fine scissors that I use to trim around the edges. So I'm not going to do that on my lovely black cloth that I just bought from Boys yesterday. I love shopping at Boys, honestly. It's great. So I trim round as neatly and as closely as I can. Probably would be better to do that on a board. But again, that's packed. 
So which bracelet am I doing? Which one? This one? Does it fit? Does it want to go that way? Oh yeah, that's nice. Have I got any scruffy edges? So there's no... <laughs> no liquidex on that yet, but as you can see, they stick really tightly. So, so I'll just pop a little bit in. Oh, my lolly stick's gone right inside. I um, don't want to start my day off with sticky, messy fingers. I'm sick of being messy. Can't get it out now. That's in there permanently. Just go and get something else. Scratchy little paintbrush there, but it's not going to matter. So I've just put some, and I'm not sure about these. They haven't got any, usually the, the base of your cabochon, the bezel, That's this is the bezel, the round bits of the cabochon. Usually they're, what's the word? Serrated so that there's a grip. So I'm going to push that in tightly now. Now, normally, I would use a peg just to hold them in place while they set. But there is a gorgeous bracelet just from my paint skins. And that, how nice is that? Okay, so there's one. And that's not going to come out. So I'm going to carry on. Now I've got a lovely square one here, but I don't, they don't, don't seem to have sent me a, a bezel to go with it. So these little hearts, aren't they cute? Let's try, let's try this. So if I... Fill it with a bit of this um, filler. Oh, it's like my hair. <laughs> it's just not that colour. It's just getting. Just like my <coughs> I do it can I do it oh do you know why is it everything I do involves fiddle fingers <laughs> which really doesn't help with your arthritis I do find though I have to say about the arthritis thingy I found a product eventually it took me ages to find it that really does work for me it might not work for you, but it works beautifully for me. And it's called Dynamint. It's 100% natural. It doesn't match, does it? But it's just lovely, isn't it? That's pretty. Um, it consists of calendula, which is marigolds, basically. It's in a base of calendula oil. And now... Marigold oil is really important, or calendula oil. It absorbs through the skin and through the cell walls very, very quickly. So, not only does it have calendula, but it has eucalyptus, which we know is great for relieving pain and inflammation, and also peppermint and tea tree. For some reason, I don't like the smell of tea tree, but... Um, Dynamint is definitely my recommendation for um, arthritis and trust me when I say I used, I, I tried every single product from green lipped muscle cream, from, um, you know, deep heat, these ibuprofen rubs, none of them worked, but the Dynamint, after two applications, was like, oh my God. 
That's amazing. And so I use it all the time now. It comes in a spray or a roll-on or a, a cream. And I actually use them all in for different at different times, but well worth it. The only thing is with it, it smells so strong of peppermint, it makes your eyes water. So don't be tempted to rub your eyes when you've put dynamite on your fingers. So sometimes I find what really does help is I use dynamite on my hands and put some some of my plastic gloves on that I should wear for painting and just feel that. I can feel it penetrating. I can actually feel the heat and the cold and the heat and the cold and the heat and the cold. And it works. It works amazingly. So, yeah, that's that's it really worked for me. Um, I highly recommend trying it. I think it was about £30 for three of, three of the three different variants on Amazon. They did sell it in Holland and Barrett, but the last time I went in, they'd stopped selling it. So, um, yeah, Holland and Barrett. That's pants. We really need lovely products. There's a purple moon look. I wonder what colour. Can't really put a silver chain on that, can I? It's not going to go. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, that looks interesting. There's like a... Do you think that'll go? I think that's more of a cobalt blue and that's purple. So to me, that's not, that's not pick it, guys. I can't do it. Let me see what this we've got. Oh, yeah, I've got some plain black ones. Would that, mm -hmm. does that do it justice? Does that do, see, that would go on that one. That's black. Oh, slippery little suckers. Look, that's the black one. That's nice, isn't it? So we'll, we'll do one in black on that. And then I'm going to get these packed and listed on my Etsy store. Along with... No, I'm not sure. That's that's brown, guys. That's brown. That's not going to do it. Look at that. Would it do it? No. If I were putting an outfit together, I, I would definitely not be happy with that. So there's nothing in there that's going to do. They're all pastels. Well, that's just disappointing now i've got purple i've got that would that go it's the wrong shade isn't it would it even go on that side mm. no i can't no that's just gonna have to wait oh cross your fingers that this one's black if it's black it's in yes it's black Let's do it, jump rings. I need a little box for them because these little bags. There it is. So let's get that on. The jump rings are silver. The bezel is bronze. As you can see, I'm just push, nipping the two ends of that jump ring together. And there, that's another one. It's a little bit sci-fi, isn't it? But that's just equally lovely. Oh, apart from it being freezing in here, I'm enjoying myself today. This is what I want to be doing, just creating. My table's about half as big as it needs to be. I'm not the tidiest worker, I will confess. Red. There's red. Red and purple in that. Red, purple, and is that cobalt? Maybe that can go on that. I think the silver chains might be a bit delicate for that. I should have got chunkier ones. Well, I know 
I know I'll know to get some ordered, so that's what we'll do. But this blue's lovely, it's really shiny. Not that that's important, but this would look lovely against a white t-shirt. I've decided that these um, dungarees for the moment are my um, my workshop overalls. <laughs> Every pair of jeans I've got is covered in paint. So if these get covered in paint, it's okay. I have to try and stop ruining all my clothes with paint. Oh, what have I done? So that's that one. T-shirt, plain sweater, they're going to just look great, aren't they? Yes, very happy with that. So, thanks guys ever so much for tuning in. Um, just rattling on, I'm going to try and do a daily vlog, a video log, and just... You know, chat about nothing. If there's anything you want, want to ask me about, feel free to send me a message. Um, I'm going to try and get my video, my lighting and everything else and my videos sorted out. Look, it still wants to work its way around the front, doesn't it? It just likes getting paint in it. I think it thinks it's a paintbrush. So, oh, crazy. So, yeah, um... Taking a couple of photos of the studio. It is a work in progress. I'm still trying to work out where everything's going to go. I need a door for the bathroom. I don't know if you can see the bathroom there. But I need to put a door on it. And I'm going to put some of my lovely tiles above the sink. So that's going to be a nice little project. And um, trying to find a home for everything. Like this beast. My wave. <laughs> And I've set my table up under the window, so hopefully get a bit of light there. And that's my little display. So I've managed to pack all my um, <clears throat> necklaces and things like that. But a long way to go, lots to do, lots to read. If Alina wa is watching this, you might remember this little bookmark. I think you bought that one year for my birthday. A little treasure there. So if anybody wants to borrow the book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, just give me a shout. I'll, I'm happy to learn it you since I've read it. A couple of projects that I'm going to be doing over the next few days. I've got these fabulous little charcuterie boards or cheese boards. So my plan is to sort of half decorate, sort of like maybe there and the handle in either beachy colours or, I don't know, you tell me. Let's have a quick look at how the, how the, um, tissue box is drying. Let's have a quick look at the top of it. It's been there an hour now, so let's have a quick look. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Now I just need to scrape the drips off and um, crack on. So that's my little... This is my studio. If you want to come and have a look at me and maybe... And, you know, I do sell artwork. I sell originals and I'll be selling prints as well um, via my Etsy store. But if you want to come and have a look and see if there's anything you want or you want to come and commission a piece, just let me know. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I do. So, um, yes. Again, thanks for watching. Goodbye from the studio. See you next time.